So me and my husband got married and didn't tell anyone, didn't tell our parents, didn't tell our family, no family was there. And you're probably like, why would you do that? And that is what we're gonna talk about today. My pants don't match my outfit. Please don't say anything. We're gonna actually light these candles. Cute! Hello siblings! Welcome to the story time of why me and my husband eloped before we had a big wedding. My drink of choice for this video is a Pepsi Zero and I'm wearing a really cute bow. I just wanted everybody to know. Before I hop into questions that you guys have, I'm just gonna cover the basics so we get our timeline right and all that. Me and my husband got engaged May 2023. I think it was like May 5th. And of course we had talked about marriage before we got engaged. I went ring shopping with him. I designed my ring, all of that kind of stuff. I knew it was coming, I just didn't know when. When we had first started dating, I had mentioned that I would love to elope. I didn't really want a big wedding at all, which is crazy to say now because I loved my big wedding. So that's kind of where the idea of elopement even first came from. Originally, I was like, we'll just elope with just our immediate families, so parents and siblings, and that'll be that. But he changed my mind. He was like, I love you so much. I want to show off my love to everybody that I love. It's just all love, 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 love. And you know what else I really love? These glasses from Warby Parker. Thank you, Warby Parker, for sponsoring this video. I have multiple videos sponsored by Warby Parker and I wear these glasses all the time. You guys have probably been seeing me wear them a lot in the vlogs and I have some sunglass attachments for them that I'll wear as well. And I even get my contacts from Warby Parker. Warby Parker is the best option for all your eye care needs. Like I said, glasses, contacts, they even have sunglasses. You can do prescription, you can do blue light. They've got a little bit of everything. And they're amazing because their glasses start at just $95, including the prescription lens with anti-reflective scratch resistant lens coatings. They have such a wide selection. So no matter what face shape you have or what you're going for, you can probably find something. And if you don't know what you want, there are two amazing resources. They have a quiz to help you pick out which ones will best suit your face, what style you're going for. And my favorite part, Warby Parker's free home try on program, which is exactly what it sounds like. You can try on five lenses for free at your house. Basically you just order five frames, they come to your house, you try them out for a week, Week. Shipping is prepaid. You've already got the label to return it. Shipping is covered both ways. Honestly, y'all are gonna love Warby Parker as much as I do. So get started today by going to warbyparker.com slash Francis. Take the home try-on quiz, pick five pairs to try on at home for free. Once again, that's warbyparker.com slash Francis. And back to my story time. So my husband wanted a big wedding and I was like, you know what? I want a big wedding too. The longer we dated, the longer we were together, I realized my like fear of having this big wedding was a stupid fear and I overcame it. So I was really excited to celebrate our love. We got engaged and I knew that I wanted a fall wedding. Literally his mom immediately after we get engaged was like, okay, so September, October, November, which one? Cause she knew fall wedding. So it was no surprise that we wanted to get married within like six months. Yada, yada, y'all don't care about that. I'm just yapping. Let's talk about the elopement. So it came up in discussion when we we were ring shopping actually we're like what if we like eloped after we got engaged it was kind of a joke because i didn't even know when we were going to get engaged but then after we got engaged we started talking about it a lot more and we were moving to missouri we were buying a house together there were just a lot of factors going into our decision to just go ahead and elope and ultimately the why behind it is legal reasons and to have a stress-free wedding as far as reasons for why we did this there are so many small reasons that i could list for like 10 minutes on why we it, but I also can't really remember what all those reasons were. I just feel like in the moment it felt so important to me to do that. I could go on about some of the stuff that I do remember, but I feel like it's just not really that relevant. It was just a bunch of little things and a few big things that made it seem like it was going to be the best choice for us. So to answer your question real quick, I actually would highly recommend this to literally everybody. So here are some of the pros. You get an intimate date with just you and your husband and whoever you choose to be there. It can be completely private. You can be super honest and vulnerable with your emotions it feels less of like a show and more about your actual love and you can get the legal stuff out of the way so on your actual big wedding day you're not signing any documents you already have your marriage license you already have everything you need you can even change your name if you need to it really just depends on life situations but I really wanted to be married before we bought our house together and we were buying our house at the end of July 
like beginning of August and moving to Missouri. So there was like a lot going into it. Also, when we moved, we were planning on staying in one bedroom together. And previously we had our own bedrooms. And like, yeah, sure, maybe that's not the biggest deal in the world, but it just felt more right, more comfortable after kind of praying about it and all that, that we would like to be married if we're gonna fully share a room. So those are the reasons why we decided to go through with it. But we were back and forth like a lot. Originally we're like, what if we did it in the middle of July or beginning of July? And we had our parents come out, maybe even still our siblings, whoever kind of wanted to come, but keep it small. And then we would get a hotel and get a cake and maybe all go out to a restaurant, which in hindsight, that would have been so much fun. I kind of wish we had more time or opportunity to make that happen. But at the end of the day, I'm glad with how it went. So the other factor was that his family had just moved from Texas to Alabama. His dad started a new job, so they moved to Alabama. And so they had just moved like a month before we ended up eloping. So the idea of trying to get his parents to come out and then also I have four parents because I have my two parents obviously and then my step parents. So that's just six people right there already trying to get there plus our best man and maid of honor who are our best friends who lived in Texas with us would obviously be there. So now we're at eight people plus us, that's 10 people and it would have been fine. But we were like, you know what? Let's just not elope. Let's just have our wedding. So at this point we picked our wedding date. It was gonna be in October and because of a lot of schedule conflicts we ended up having to move to September get married on a Friday that's what was available with our venue and I was like that sounds great except then we kept thinking about the legal stuff you know all the reasons why we wanted to and it's kind of fun and spontaneous and I'm fun and spontaneous I think <laughs> Anyway, so it was about two weeks before we decided to actually elope and we were like, you know what? Let's just do it. So we we're planning on just going to the courthouse, you know, super simple. A judge pronounces you married, you sign it, you're done. Easy peasy. But then I started researching online like, okay, well, what if we actually make it a cute thing, even if it's just us? And I actually found this pastor who does elopements to help people get like married easy for cheap. So it was actually the exact same price as a court marriage. And he just has this cute little setup. It was actually inside of like a rodeo themed bar. But when we walked in, it was like all set up for like a little wedding, which insert pictures. It was super cute, a little janky, but cute at the same time. Once we chose the day that we were going to elope and we scheduled it with him and paid for it and everything, we told our best friends and they were like, oh my gosh, yes, of course. So Charlie and Juan ended up going with us. She, Charlie's the one who took pictures. And then obviously we just wanted our best friends there. And then we decided to just not invite anyone because it was last minute. We just wanted it to be like a small thing, actually kind of mean something but also kind of mean nothing because we wanted our big wedding to be our wedding day and then because it was so last minute we just didn't even tell our parents plus I was kind of scared how they would react not being invited ahead of time versus telling them after and being like yeah sorry we just wanted to be like an us thing so we just did it Honestly, like trying to explain this is so hard because in the moment there wasn't that much thought put into it. Like there was, but there wasn't. It wasn't like, who should we invite? Who should we not invite? We're like, oh my gosh, we have to try to, no, we were just like, we want to elope, let's just do it. Boom, boom, done. We went and got our marriage license, which I made a little vlog on TikTok about it. I've already told TikTok and Instagram about this. So if you don't follow me, go follow me there. And I ended up ordering a cute little white dress. My elopement dress, I believe was from Lulu's. Pretty much all my white wedding dresses, other than my actual wedding dress was from Lulu's. And then we planned our last day to see our friends. So we were moving, right? So the last day that we were gonna go see our friends cause they lived like 30, 40 minutes away from us was July 15th. And we're gonna have a girl's day, all hang out, but then me and Charlie are gonna have a girl's day and all this. Then I'm like, hey, we're eloping. Is that okay? And they were like, yes, of course. So the elopement was at like two. Basically we woke up, we got our toes and nails done. We brought lunch back. I think I'm thinking of the right day. And then we got ready. We went and eloped and then came home and we actually continued on. Well, we had a little bit of alone time, like just hanging out, whatever. And then we went and had a girl's day. So even the actual day, it wasn't like all about us and a big deal or anything. Like it wasn't even a big deal at all. We like stayed the night at our friend's house the night before, so. <laughs> Like I said, super low key. Anyways, so that's kind of how it went down. We actually ended up getting married on July 15th, 2023, which was exactly two months before our big wedding on September 15th. And we were super excited. We actually even talked about before we eloped, like what if we eloped and then had our big wedding like a year from now, we could still have it in the fall and, or we could have it in the spring, whatever, and have a lot more time to plan because we knew we'd be moving and remodeling. But I was like, nope, we can do it. We should just do it. We should just have the wedding. And at the end of the day, weddings are to celebrate love. So whether you are married before or not, it doesn't really matter. I mean, a lot 
lot of people even will have a wedding and then a reception the next day or have like a whole week of wedding events and it's just one of those days that they get married. So it's really more about like celebrating than it is actually like signing a piece of paper, you know? Anyways, don't know where I was going with this. Okay, so parents' reactions is probably what you wanna know next. First person we told was my dad. Oh, my hair. For multiple reasons. Legally, we kind of had to. He's my realtor. He needed to know if we're married or not, if I changed my name or not. Like, he needs to know about all that. So he came to visit because he was helping us move with, like, his truck and trailer. And I just walked downstairs. Abram wasn't even home. And I just showed him the marriage license from Texas and was like, hey, I just want to let you know we got married, like, two weeks ago. And he was like, what? Honestly, shout out because all of our parents were super supportive in the end. But my dad was just like, I wish I could have come. Other than that, like, I'm so excited for you. I love you. I'm so happy for you guys and then he just asked kind of how it's been being married and how he was so excited and then when Abram came home he like gave him a big hug and was like I guess you're my son-in-law and it was just really cute really fun he was really supportive um and then I think I ended up telling some of my siblings and I kind of just did the same thing like once we were moved to Missouri living in Missouri I held it up and was like hey just want to let everyone know we got married it was actually really awkward how I did it in the moment now that I think about it but anyway everybody was like oh okay like everyone in my family's pretty chill and we're all pretty like independent so it's not really that big of a deal I don't think and they all knew my wedding was gonna be in two months. So it was like, okay, cool. We'll see you in two months again when we do the wedding, you know? Next, I told my mom about a month after. So my dad knew about two weeks after. I think a lot of my siblings knew about three or four weeks after. My mom, I called her a month after because I was so nervous for some reason that she was gonna be mad at me. So I called her and I was like, hey, I have something to tell you. And she was like, okay, which is never a good way to start a phone call, let me tell you. But I was like, we got married a month ago. We kind of explained why we wanted to do it and she was like oh okay well I'm happy for you you know I'll keep it on the down low we don't really need to tell anyone let's celebrate your big day on your wedding or your yeah whenever I was having the big wedding and other than that happy for you and I was like okay check boom parents are supportive love that like I said I'm pretty independent for my parents like I'm I'm a full adult I don't rely on them for well I do rely on them as my parents but I'm not like living with them or financially involved or anything like that so it really wasn't that big of a deal okay next was his parents which he decided to wait till Guess what? The night before the wedding. That's right. Are you mad? I was mad. Not really, but kind of. <laughs> Abram is like that. My husband, he prefers to tell his parents things in person, but we never see them. So he's like, I'll just wait till they're here and then I'll just tell them. So it's the night before the wedding. It was the rehearsal. I was like, making sure no one said anything because we needed to tell them ourselves, but you know, it's his parents. I'll let him deal with it. And he waits until about 7, 8 p.m the night before the wedding because they were all over here after the rehearsal. They had just gotten in town and he was like, hey, I just want to let you guys know that we're not getting married tomorrow. What kind of delivery was that, first of all? I'm sitting there stressing, on the brink of tears, screaming, crying, throwing up. Not really. I was just sweating. I was, I was nervous, okay? And they were like, okay? And I felt like this was at least minimum 45 minutes before he said anything. In reality, it might have been 10 seconds, but longest 10 seconds of my life. And he was like, yeah, we actually eloped on July 15th and so yeah we've been married and then like his parents were so chill and his whole family was there like siblings and everything and they were like oh my gosh the only person who was like what was his sister Lily her birthday is July 15th so she was like what you guys got married on my birthday and I was like happy birthday so oops but um yeah they were really supportive and his mom was even like oh you know sometimes they do that in like Mexican culture I guess and so that's like not weird at all to us like that sounds cool I bet tomorrow's gonna be stress-free for you guys then you don't even have to worry about it and it just made us feel so relaxed knowing everybody was like cool with it and didn't think it was weird at all and honestly I think it should be normalized I think it should be a part of like American wedding culture because it was such a chill wedding day when I tell you I had zero stress I'm like who cares we're already married nothing literally nothing can go wrong just spending thousands of dollars on one day and hopefully everything goes right but honestly I was so chill that day uh I think I was the most chill one there everyone was like are you okay are you good and I'm like walking around helping set up and you know telling people what to do and I was the first one ready and I was just hanging out like it was such a good day and I attribute like a good portion of that to already being married and kind of getting that stress out of the way on top of that 
we had such a stressful two months before that of moving and remodeling our house that my wedding day was like the least stressful thing going on in my entire life. So I was like, finally, a day all about me. I can relax, it's so chill, celebrate our love. So yeah, that was that. And like I said, I would highly recommend. At the end of the day, marriage is between you, your partner, and God. And that's really it. We add so much to weddings. We make them so expensive. And at the end of the day, if you just wanna elope, save a bunch of money, go for it. Or if you wanna do what we did and elope and then have a big wedding, whether it's two months later or two years later, I would honestly highly recommend that too. I've actually heard multiple people since I did this say, oh, I wish we did that, or we're actually gonna do that. That's such a good idea. And like, whatever your reasons are, it doesn't really matter. It made my day so chill. It was a vibe, no regrets over here. Plus it was fun to have a little secret just between us. So now let's hop into any questions that you guys have about it. Do you think it was worth having the big wedding after you already had the elopement? Yes, because I seriously think my big wedding day, September 15th, 2023, was one of the best days of my entire life. Genuinely having everybody I love in one place, partying all night, just dancing, celebrating, both of our vows that we like took time to write out, because at our elopement we did like from the heart vows, um, but at our wedding like vows that meant a lot to me, what my husband said, what I said, um, just the whole ceremony, being able to get all dressed up, I definitely think it was so, so worth it. And we had a pretty small, big wedding. We had about 80 people there. No, I think I invited 80. I think only like 60 people were there. Very chill. And I loved it, honestly. So I guess if you have the money for it, do both. Have the big wedding. Do you feel like it took away from the day or that it took away stress? Like I said, I think it just took away stress. Whenever we say our wedding, we always are talking about September 15th. And when we say the day we got married, that's usually when we're talking about the elopement day because our wedding day was so special, so fun for us. And we do think of that as like our big day. Like that was the day we committed to each other, even though we did technically commit to each other two months before that, but we also technically committed to each other the day we started dating. So how far in advance did I plan the elopement? Technically about two weeks. And technically, I think you need 72 hours in the state of Texas at least to get the marriage license and then get married. But we actually did like an online course. It was like a marriage counseling, but it was like, it was like the most basic thing you've ever heard just like to get this course just so you could like get married the same day you get your marriage license and in the state of Texas it's $75 for a marriage license or something like that and if you have a marriage course it's $12 so we really just did it to save money and the course was $10 so overall net positive what are your views on elopement as a Christian how to do it in a God honoring way um, as a Christian I believe that marriage is between you your spouse and God honestly I don't really care if the state is involved but obviously legally the state has to be involved in a legal marriage so I think that if you're getting married, you're automatically honoring God. But we did have a pastor marry us and our vows included God and we prayed about it before. We prayed during our elopement. If you have the Holy Spirit, if you're a Christian, you have the Holy Spirit, God is literally everywhere with you. So did you announce it at your wedding? Honestly, we thought about like putting up a presentation or whatever, like a slideshow and then it just shows pictures of us getting married. But I don't think our venue even had a TV. So we didn't end up doing that. And a lot of people didn't find out until like after the wedding and most people didn't find out until I posted on Instagram, even like my cousins and stuff. <laughs> the total cost of our elopement, I don't know exactly what you mean by total cost, like dress, marriage license, whatever, but our marriage license, I believe was $12. Doing the little venue thing we did, I think was 400. And at least where I lived in Houston, getting married at the courthouse was like two to 400, depending on what time. So like I said, it was either gonna be the same price, maybe a little more expensive for like a nicer looking area. And then my dress, I don't remember. I think it was like $70. So all in all, let's just say $500 to elope. Are you gonna celebrate your anniversary that day or in September? We are gonna celebrate July 15th because that is when we'll legally be married for one year and on all of our legal documents, it says July 15th. Anytime we have to give, the day we got married is July 15th. So we are gonna celebrate July 15th, but obviously we'll reminisce on our big wedding on July 15th. <laughs> How do you deal with boundaries with your elopement with inviting friends or family or whoever you want present? I say your wedding day is your wedding day. Make it about you and your spouse. Obviously, it's great to include family and friends. You could take our path and just not tell anyone or you could tell people and there are so many ways to navigate that. But I would say we're just keeping it super small so you can be invited to our big wedding or maybe even have like a little like party after that's not like a big wedding but just something at your house if you're gonna elope so people can feel involved. Do you prefer your elopement day or your wedding day? Definitely 
definitely my big wedding day. But like I said, I don't think it would have been the same if we didn't elope. And then I had a couple of people asking about like our honeymoon. We actually didn't go on a honeymoon. We were planning on going to Tennessee up in the mountains and I would still love to do that maybe on our anniversary or something. But we ended up just taking a few days off work and relaxing at our house because we hadn't yet enjoyed our house. Done from the remodel with nobody here. You know, it was just nice to take a few days off, not have to worry about like actually traveling and spending a bunch of money. And we did like a staycation, which I honestly think is so smart. Cause like there's a lot that goes on during a wedding and it's nice to just like chill at home. So I think we would rather go on a trip for like our one year anniversary or just at any time. Cause I think we're actually gonna be on a trip with my mom and my siblings to the Dominican on our anniversary. So maybe we'll go on that trip some other time. <laughs> And then one of the last things, someone just wanted to know, like, what is the process of getting eloped? So obviously get engaged, pick your day you want to get eloped. You have to go get your marriage license, check your state to know like what all you need to get your marriage license, how long you have to wait after you have your marriage license to actually get married. I would recommend doing it just like a week to two weeks beforehand. And then you can either look online or you can call your local courthouse if you're gonna do a courthouse wedding and just schedule that in or you can look up places around you. Another option is if you actually know someone who is ministered to marry you or you can find someone online, you can technically elope like literally anywhere. You can elope on the beach or in the woods or on a cliff, whatever you want as long as there's someone there to legally sign the paper. And depending on your state, you might need witnesses. So just make sure you know what your state laws are and you're getting all the legal stuff done. Or if in your location there is somewhere you wanna go, like I know a lot of beaches have elopement packages where you pay you know, anywhere between like a hundred to a thousand dollars. It might include photography or DJ or whatever, just for like a mini, basically a mini wedding. So it really just depends. That was something we thought about too. We were like, what if we like went to Pensacola Beach or Panama City Beach or something and like did a little elopement invited everyone but we decided to not do that obviously we kept it as simple as possible okay sorry one more question what was your favorite part of your elopement honestly it just felt so intimate it really did feel like it was just us and god and we were able to speak from the heart just like initially what we think as our vows it was so nice um really relaxing not stressful at all it was kind of just funny in a way because it's like just us four and this random pastor and that will wrap up this video so that is how we got loped and why and if you guys have any other questions leave them below and i might choose to answer them i might choose not to you never know depends on the question but thank you guys so much for your support and for watching this video and make sure to go check out warby parker thank you for sponsoring this video again and i will see you guys in the next one bye